we've done two things by this publication. One is wake up the world to the urgent problem. And secondly, it motivated lots, lots of scientists. We have their attention. Let them think about ways in which they could design new drugs, new uh, therapies, and so on. Speaking and to VOA uh, via Skype, Dr. Bruce Alberts, the, the editor-in-chief of Science, says the finding that the bird flu virus can jump species and become transmissible among mammals as the result of just a few mutations is a discovery of major importance. He says it's important to publish that information because the world's scientists and policy makers must understand it and deal with it. This virus uh, is most dangerous immediately in Indonesia, Vietnam, China, places like that. And uh, if we decide we could keep this information in the United States, this is, this is a terrible diplomatic problem for, for everybody. Whenever you do research that involves infectious diseases, there's the possibility of what we call dual use, namely significant benefits from the research, as well as the possibility of some risks from the research. Dr. Anthony Fauci is the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. He says the research is important because it provides a better understanding of an evolving virus and the possibility of spillover infection, in which a bird virus infects a human or another mammal. Experts say this is a research frontier where concerned scientists must have access to major findings by other scientists in order to move ahead faster. Because in nature, the virus is already doing what we're trying to figure out it's doing now with the experiments. So if we don't do any experiments, the virus is just not going to go away. It's here. It's a clear danger. It's a present danger. And that's the reason why we're doing research on it. So far, H5N1 is seen most commonly in ducks and chickens and has only infected about 600 people since 2003. But when it does affect humans, it has proved fatal, killing about half of those infected. Experts say information on the genetic makeup of the virus must be widely shared. Those working to develop drugs for this virus must know what it looks like, its adaptability to humans, and the extent of its transmission from animal to human and from human to human. Vidushi Sinha, VOA News, Washington.